systems of linear equations in two variables. A system of equations is two or more equations with the same variables. To solve a system, find an ordered pair that satisfies all of the equations. Our first type of question is just to determine whether a given ordered pair is a solution of a system. To find that out, you just plug it in and see if it makes both equations true. So for our system, we have two different points we're going to check. Uh, first, the 1, 0. We'll plug it in. It has to make both equations true to be a solution of the system. So when we plug it into the first equation, we have 1 plus 3 times 0 does it equal 7. So we have 1 plus 0 does it equal 7. It does not. So A is not a solution of the system. It doesn't work for one equation. We don't have to check it for the other one. So we'll check for point B. Does it work? Is it a solution of the system? We have to plug it in. So 1 plus 3 times our Y, which is 2. Is that equal to 7? 1 plus 6 equals 7. So it works for that equation. It must also work for the other equation to be a solution of the system. So we have 2 times 1 minus 4 times 2. Is that equal to negative 6? So we have 2 minus 8. That is equal to negative 6. So point B satisfies both equations, so it is a solution of the system. Two lines can intersect in one point, no points, or an infinite number of points. So we're going to have three types of solutions. The intersection is the solution. That is what would make both equations true at the same time. So we'll have three types of solutions. We're also going to have three methods of trying to solve. We can solve by graphing. Uh, it's very good for understanding the types of solutions, but it's not very practical. We can solve by substitution, and we can solve by a method called addition or the elimination method. Our first problem is to solve a system by graphing. So we have two equations. We want to graph them both and see if they cross, if they're parallel, or if they give us the same line. So. For our first one, we want to graph. Uh, I'm going to use intercepts for this one because x and y are on the same side. So if I substitute 0 into x, that would be y equals 6. And then remember, you switch. If I put 0 into y, the x would have to be 6. So I have two points. They should land on the axes. So 0, 6. Don't go over, but go up 6. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, there's a point, and 6, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then I will connect the dots, and that should give my line. Now I'm going to graph the other line on the same grid. So y equals x plus 4. I'm going to use slope and one point for this graph because it is in slope-intercept form. I can read off my slope, which is 1, the coefficient of the x. I will make it a fraction. And my y-intercept is 4. So first you plot your y-intercept. 1, 2, 3, 4 always lands on the y-axis. And I will use my slope to find another point. From the intercept, go up 1 over 1. And I'll do it again just to be able to draw a good line. Then I will draw my line. And this system does intersect in one point. It looks like the point is 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sometimes it's hard to tell where they cross. That's what makes it not so efficient. Um, it's okay if you're using a graphing calculator, but a little harder uh, by hand. So let's double check and see if 1, 5 makes both equations true. Let's look algebraically. If we plug 1 and 5 in, 1 plus 5, does that equal 6? Yes. If we plug the 1 into the x, 
1 plus 4 equals our 5? Yes, so 1, 5 is the solution of this system. We'll also try our next system by graphing. So we're going to graph both of these lines on the same grid and see if they cross. And if so, where do they cross? So for our first equation, 4x minus y equals 6. We could do it with intercepts because x and y are on the same side. So if we plug 0 into x, we get negative y equals 6. So y equals negative 6. You have to divide out that negative. And then we switch and plug 0 into the other one. If we plug 0 into y, we have to divide out the 4. So 6 divided by 4. And we'll divide that out. A mixed number is easier to graph. So it gives us 1 and a half. So 6 over 4 is 1 and a half, 0. These are the same point. All right, so I'm going to draw them on the graph. So over 0 down 6, and then I'm going to do 1 and a half, 0. So it's going to be right about here, and I will connect them with a line. Then we will graph the other equation, x minus y equals 0. We can try intercepts here x and y are on the same side, but when you plug in 0, you're also going to get 0. So the intercepts only give us one point. There's only one intercept, 0, 0. So we have to plug something else. But you can kind of do this one in your head. You have something and you need to subtract it to get 0, so they're going to be the same. If you plug in 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, or 2 minus 2 is 0. So we can graph that. 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, then we will connect the dots to draw the line. These lines do intersect in one point. It looks like the point is 2, 2. You do need the parentheses because this is an ordered pair, a point that's solving this system. Uh, let's double check with 2, 2. If we plug 2, 2 in, does it make both of these true? So if we plug it in our first one, 2 times 4 is 8, minus 2 is 6. It works in the first one. And 2 minus 2 is 0. It works in the second one. So 2, 2 is the solution. We have one more system to try to solve by graphing. Uh, for my first equation, I'm going to graph it with slope. It is in slope-intercept form. My slope is one-third coefficient of x. My y-intercept is 2. So first I plot the 2. From there, I go up 1 and over 3. 1, 2, 3. Make a point and we'll connect the dots. I'm going to move the slope one more time just to make the line easier to draw. So up 1 over 3. 1, 2, 3. Then I will connect the dots to make the line. Right, my next line, 2x minus 6y equals 12. I could do it by um, intercepts because x and y are on the same half. So x is 0 on negative 6y equals 12 divided by negative 6. So y equals negative 2. And then switch and plug 0 into the other one. Divide by 2. 2 into 12 will go 6. So 0, negative 2. So don't go over, but go down 2. And then my other point is 6, 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then we will connect the dots. And these lines look parallel to me, um, which means there would be no solution. 
One way we can double check that is if the slope is the same, they're parallel. So if I wanted to double check, if I rearrange this equation and read off my slope, so let's do that. We will rearrange. So I will move my 2x to the other side. So negative 6y equals 12 minus 2x and divide by negative 6. This me y equals negative 2. Two negatives will give you plus 1 third x. 1 third is our slope. It's the same as the other one. So these lines are parallel when they have the same slope. They're never going to cross. There is no solution. That is your answer.